Fools, Gert. So glad to see you. I should talk to Heidelin about my next targets. I should talk to Heidelin. Jorvik is now free of the Order's influence. Brilliant as ever, my friend. Thank you for all you have done. Ah, here is something for you. An odd letter arrived a few days ago, signed by one calling himself... A poor fellow soldier of Christ. That's right. Someone you know. Not by sight. But this soldier has intimate knowledge of the Order. He's the reason I have found them so easily in the cities. The letter says you must travel to Winchester, visit God's house, and look for a man in white. Then recite this passage. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. All right. I'll speak with Ranvi, get a fuller picture of all this. Do you need something? I have to go. Then go in peace. She looks good still. Good enough to attract a horde of Vikings. That's not a compliment, Eivor. That's just alarming. But it keeps your back straight. And your sword at the ready. God's truth. I can't relax too much, otherwise I'll float away. How is Erke? Is he well? He is. God's kept his spirits and health up. He's waiting for me back at the governor's villa. I would like to say hello. You shall. We want to show you the result of all your aid. Good. Lead on. Eivor, you've come! You really cleaned up the place. Impressive. Did you notice what we've done with some of the brickwork? Repurposed from old London. And who are these people? There's a few faces I know already. These are the good citizens of London. Here to thank you for your help. Without you, these walls might have crumbled beneath the grasping vines of the Order. And we... We'd be but poor thieves of heathen scum. So we tip our wrists and raise our voices in thanks. To Eivor! Eivor! Eivor, Broca of Clan Raven. Lunden shall ever house you in her welcoming bosom. Skull! You see? Fresh bricks, a wash of paint. She looks brand new. Tigger would have killed you for pilfering bricks from the Mithras ruins. 
no matter how vile that place was. Well, it's a good thing London's new governor is rather fond of me and my schemes. Don't you dare drag me into that job. I won't have it. He rehearsed that for hours. No speech from East, though? After I saved your ass in Sussex? No. No, I remember Sussex quite differently. You're all patched up and not a leech in sight. Aye. Odin saw me as too handsome for his hall. And was it Odin who carried you around for months? Oh, thank the gods he didn't. Stow cuts a much handsomer figure. I don't feel like I have a target on my back when I walk through London these days. It's a good feeling, isn't it? And we did it together. So eat, Eivor. Drink. Be merry. This is your celebration, too. Visit me at home sometime. I'll show you how the Norse throw a feast. Can't be much different than a Dane feast, I'd imagine. We'd be honored, Eivor. But London needs us now more than ever. Stow gave me work manning the Springholds, no thanks to you. Still the best shot in London I am. I'm feeling a bit dry over here! How are you, Gita? Recovering from your loss? I wake every morning. And if I am lucky, there's a moment where I forget. My Regna, my poor girl is dead. But she is avenged, thanks to you. Take good care of yourself. <laughs> Go on! Vote for it! Eivor, we want to apologize. We'd no idea what we were doing or why. But Stow got it sorted out. We're glad he gave us another chance. 